Alright, here we go. Pull that today. Good. Oh, 12 yards of concrete coming. Six on each load. Six feet, eight feet, six feet, six feet. So, to get her done today. We got good weather. Usually the access for pool decks is always kind of tricky, but today's not too bad, but we still got to pull quite a bit. Hey, Darren, let's run just a little out of him first. Make sure he's right. Just in case. Take a look at it. Maybe five more. How you doing this morning? Good. How are you? Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He is back today. Say hi to ya. <laughs> she's uh, finished college. She's got a few weeks she's working with us. And she's got a, a real job she's gonna go to. Here we go. We get him about here. We should be good on Darren. Yeah, That's 16, so. 16 should reach right around yeah. here. Yeah. Really all I need it for... Enough to get that joint in anyway. It's their policy, what are you going to do? I mean, you can't make them do something they don't want to do. Maybe you just take it right off. Time we get this pulled back and that pulled forward. Hey, Luke, I'm gonna put it right over there. We're gonna need it over there. Yeah. I think we can pull your head a little bit. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Gonna run the shoot? Huh? You wanna run the shoot? No. Gotta <laughs> get in the tape. Still going. Yeah, go ahead, I'll finish him. It's gotta be about out. No, it's gonna be, I'll take a look here in a second. That's always the question. Yeah, I know it. Especially on these residential ones, huh? That was perfect driving, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What was your name? Chris. Chris. Yep. Chris is our driver of the week. Good job, Chris. All right, Thank let's you. take a peek. Just a little bit low, huh, Luke? Okay. Yeah, just spread that out. I'll pull some up here. One down, one to go. Looks like we're over halfway. Should be good with concrete. It'll be a nice day today. However you're doing pools, man. You just can't take a chance on on weather. You gotta have a nice day. We slope these decks out too. We slope them probably an inch away from the pool. This is gonna be a broom finish pool that we're gonna hand tool our joints in. 
bag it out, broom it, tool it. Now that's it, be done with it. Just have to come back, strip the form. Putting these bars in because we know it's going to crack off here somewhere. We're going to cut a joint, but if it does crack somewhere other than the joint, the bar will keep the crack nice and tight. Just like that, it disappears. Doggy tracks. Yeah. Legs tired? Yeah. <laughs> How we doing today? Good, how you doing? You're the best driver we've had today. Wow. Don't tell Chris, okay? <laughs> I, 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 you know, oh, I think he knows. We like we like we like Chris. <laughs> you know, you're our favorite. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about a six. Yeah. Star on a video? Yeah, you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Might be about a month before it comes out. But <laughs> you are the star. Without you, we couldn't do this. <laughs> yeah. No, I think we just take it off, get rid of it, hook the little one on if we need it, get rid of this thing. I got my scraper right by him too. That did it. My way? Yep. Step right over. I just almost got a bucket in the concrete. Wanna go right out that way, Luke? Wanna go right out with it? Yeah. Ready? Gotcha. Yeah, take a little bit. A little bit of pulling, but not too bad. Four yards should do from where we started to the board. And then he's got two and a quarter to do that. I think I think we'll do all right. I ordered at four and a quarter, then I even added a yard after that. Yeah. Pull him head a little bit, Luke. Yeah. That way, and we'll pull your head a little bit. Yep, pull him ahead a little bit more, please, Luke. Let's get him right down to that corner for a sec. Yeah, now he should be able to see me. Thank you. I got high here and the side had like. Yep, around. get just a little there and we'll shut him right off. Give you a break on that for a sec there.
probably the worst thing with concrete running it short and you know we figured this all out it's supposed to be four inches we figured it at four and a quarter added an extra yard on top of that a yard will do 10 feet of this eight feet wide and he's rattling pretty good so he's he's just about out so i mean you never want to never want to try to cut cut corners it's, it's just running out is going to mess you up and it's going to mess up the concrete company 150 bucks for an extra yard of concrete isn't really that much in the whole scheme of things when you look at doing a you know a really good job for the customer running a yard short here or a half yard short having to wait for a balance if you can even get one and it's just going to mess up that one little area it's not going to look the same that right there is a little piece of wire sticking up we'll rectify that after after we get done pouring we'll bend it back down in with enough people you know enough experienced people these pool decks they're really kind of easy just you know slow and steady pouring them's not too bad with a good enough access and then finishing them with a broom finish is pretty easy the stamp ones are a little more difficult but these broom finish ones with enough people four people is really perfect we could do it with three we'd be hustling but four is going to be a big difference Hey, right over, just a little ways over from the skimmer, there was a piece of wire sticking up. Maybe you think you could just bend it right in. We're gonna tool our joints in with this thing first. You know, we generally put put one on the corner, like right here, and then another one over here, probably like right about here. And then we'll go in the middle, another one over here. Try to keep these from cracking the best you can. You know, it's just sometimes it's impossible. You're gonna develop a shrinkage crack somewhere but for the most part these joints work pretty good if you want to grab me a tape I got yeah. those two corners marked yeah. you could find that middle for me middle. and then we'll work on these then we can get them cut right in early Twenty three, one and a half. 21 would be seven so we got two about two more feet cut into three squares would be eight inches right seven foot eight Mark or no two mark today? Ah. I don't know. I like it without the two mark. Without it? <laughs> Doesn't matter. We can't, I mean, either way, it's, you can still got to make sure they're nice and clean and neat and. That looks pretty good.
Beth. Dip it in like this. Pound it off. Get rid of the excess. Good to go. When I'm broming, I'm looking for a nice fine finish like this right here. If it's wet, it's going to start rolling some of the rocks and the concrete. You'll see those little rocks rolling. You don't want that. So you want to wait till it tightens up enough. So you get a really nice fine broom finish, especially on a pool deck like this where they're going to be walking on bare feet. That's perfect right there. Also, when I pull that broom back, I do want to do one easy, slow motion. I don't want to stop and start. Pull it back nice and easy. And then we're going to leave the finish edger mark like that right there. But we don't leave the finish tool mark on the grooves. I'm trying not to hit that fence right there. That fence is kind of right in the way. But I don't want to hit it and bang it while I'm pulling the broom back. Sometimes the broom will leave a little bit of a line. See that right there? For whatever reason, a little tiny rock gets caught in it or the fibers or something. So you don't want to leave that. You want to go back over it. Put it right, broom it right back over it and it usually disappears. Get the broom clean. Moving right along. So this square is the end of that first truck. Luke's over there starting on whether we started with the second truck. So when these things go, it's when they're ready, they're ready. There's no waiting. So you gotta make sure you're right on top of it. If you get behind on one of these, it's it's a painful day. You get it at the right time, it's easy. A couple ways you can do these corners. You can you could just broom them right square, one way or the other. Or you could Feather it around those corners like what I'm doing. Either way is okay. I'll lift that line again. See if I can get it out with this one. Yeah, I took it out. What do you need there? Top of that groove needs to go to the left a little, my left a little bit.
getting warm now. I have to take my sweatshirt off. Oh, the shady part, I may end up, may end up having to mag this little piece out again. It's kind of rough. I, I'd probably just leave it for now. We'll give it 10 minutes. All right, I'm just gonna mag that little shady spot out in a minute here and do it again. Yeah. That spot's been in the shade the whole time, so it hasn't dried up quite as nice so we're gonna just give it a few more minutes let it dry up a little more so the broom marks will be a little bit finer just a little rough for a pool bit yeah that all went good this is this you know we get about get about 10 bucks a square foot to do these to form it we don't do any of the earthwork we just form it put the wire pour it broom it groove it strip the forms you know we're talking 10 bucks a square foot so we got a thousand square feet here there's that's a ten thousand dollar day right there had 12 yards of concrete at about 150 bucks a yard you know you get about three or four hundred bucks of wire in there and then the rest is basically just labor so you know, you can make pretty good money doing pool decks. You just got to know what you're doing. You can't mess them up. But there's pretty good money in them. We got, I don't know, we got about 10 of them lined up right now. This is the, really the first one of the year. It's early May right now here in Maine. So it's still kind of chilly, but yeah, they're, they're good work. You just got to have the skilled people to do it with.